Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at 5 scary tunnels you should never enter. Ever since the creation of the world, tunnels have always been used as a way for people to get around. That is what they were designed for, after all. Tunnels can be found in many places in the world, and more than likely, whenever you see one or even go through one, you are not going to think much of it. All would probably seem normal. However, there are some tunnels in various places on our Earth that you should never enter. Some may be cursed and haunted, and some may just be downright eerie and unsettling to venture into. The Sensabar Tunnel located in Church Hill, Tennessee, United States, may not look too creepy upon initial first sight. It is scattered with graffiti all throughout, and most certainly looks run down and decrepit. But a lot of tunnels look like that, so what makes this tunnel so creepy and why should you never enter it? Well, as it turns out, the Sensabar Tunnel has a long and incredibly unsettling backstory to it. In the 1920s, the patriarch of the Sensabar family was said to have murdered his wife and daughter in that exact tunnel, and left their bodies in there to rot. What is also creepy is that he supposedly wandered the tunnel and the surrounding areas for years to come, which definitely comes across as bizarre. Did he feel guilt for his actions that he committed? Was he visiting in sorrow after perhaps feeling guilty, or was he just simply wandering the area for an unknown reason? What is also creepy is the fact that he reportedly never went to jail either, for some strange and unknown reason. It has been said by ghost hunters throughout the years that you can even hear the screams of the wife and daughter in the tunnel to this day. If that was not frightening enough, some people say that the ghost of Mr. Sensabar himself wanders there still to this day. The Husak Tunnel, also known as the Husik Tunnel, or just simply Husik, is a tunnel that is located in western Massachusetts. The tunnel, which passes through the Husak Range, was constructed between the years 1851 to 1873, and was officially opened on February 9, 1875. The tunnel is also extremely long, with its official length being 25,081 feet long or 7,645 meters long. Constructing a tunnel that long absolutely seems like a daunting task for anybody, even construction workers who do this for a living. Naturally, with a project that took that many years and was so difficult to build, some accidents happened along the way that will freak you out. In total, a whopping 196 workers were killed during the years that the Husak Tunnel was being constructed. When you think about how many people usually work on projects like this, that number definitely seems way too high. Because of all of the deaths, the tunnel quickly got the nickname, the Bloody Pit. The large majority of the workers died due to explosions, with most of them being caused by black powder, and some were killed by nitroglycerin. However, perhaps the most terrifying accident that occurred in the Husak Tunnel is known as the Central Shaft Accident. On October 17, 1867, workers were doing work on the tunnel as usual. They were digging the vertical exhaust shaft, when suddenly, a candle located within the hoist building caught fire, causing fumes from a gasometer lamp to leak, which was highly deadly. Immediately, the hoist and the surrounding area erupted into massive explosions, and the rubble collapsed into the shaft. A total of 13 men unfortunately did not survive this incident, but 4 men managed to make their way out of the scene alive. A little while later, a worker discovered the bodies of his fellow co-workers dead within the area, with some of them suffocating as a result of the gasometer leak and explosion. The Old Inunaki Tunnel is an extremely cursed tunnel located in Inunaki Mountain Pass in Japan, and has a very interesting backstory, and it is said to be one of the most haunted spots in all of Japan. On December 7, 1988, an incredibly charred body belonging to a factory worker named Umayama Kuichi 
was found on the mountain pass. Police arrested a group of teenagers relating to the incident as they were suspected of killing the man by pouring gasoline on him and setting him on fire. The incident began when the teens approached Umayama and told him to get out of his car and to stop acting tough. Umayama refused to comply with their demands, which led to the teens assaulting him and even abducting the man. Umayama eventually found a way to break free of his captors, but his escape attempt was noticed by the teens and now furious attempted to throw the man off Candapot. This however failed, which led to them brutally beating the man with wrenches and other tools. They took Umayama to Old Inunaki Tunnel where they poured gasoline on him and ferociously beat his body even more. Umayama in such a horrific state, with bruises and cuts and set ablaze, tried his hardest to walk out of the tunnel and escape to safety, but it was met with no success. Eventually, Umayama collapsed and sadly died at the hands of the vicious teens, with them even going as far as to celebrate the act. Luckily though, the teens were met with life sentences in prison. The Meriton Tunnel, also known as the Blue Ghost Tunnel, is certainly a creepy name for a tunnel and it is for good reason. Located in Thorold, Ontario, Canada. The tunnel began construction in the year 1875 and it was finished in 1876, but it was ultimately closed in 1915. The tunnel was built as a way for more efficient travel in the area, but over the course of the years it was open, terrible events took place there. Much like the previously mentioned Husak Tunnel, during the time it took to build the Meriton Tunnel, a number of seriously frightening accidents occurred there, and innocent lives were at the expense. In 1875, a 14-year-old was tragically killed at the location when a large rock crushed him. If that was not sad enough, on January 3rd, 1903 at 7.03am, engine number 4 and number 975 crashed head-on with one another. The engines, which were reportedly moving at a speed of 22 miles per hour, contained two people named Charles Harning and Abraham Desold in number 4 and number 975 respectively. Both men died as a result of the horrible crash. What may come as a shock is that a total of 107 individuals lost their lives during the course of time the tunnel was open all the way up until its close in 1915. Richmond, Virginia's Churchill Tunnel is not only a tunnel that looks creepy on the outside, but is certainly one that is creepy additionally due to the events that took place there. Not much is known as to when construction on the Churchill Tunnel was started, but it opened up in 1873 and was eventually closed in 1902. With a length of 4,000 feet, it also, like many of the other tunnels on this list, was quite massive and expansive. Sadly, nine men's lives were claimed during the time that the tunnel was open. On October 2nd, 1925, the Churchill Tunnel required a few repairs. A locomotive pulling 10 flat cars ventured into the tunnel. During this time, 190 feet of the tunnel suddenly collapsed all at once, which took the lives of a number of the workers that day. Sadly, nobody was able to find the bodies of at least 10 of the workers. Unable to find the bodies, eventually the area was filled up with concrete and their bodies have never been discovered to this day. If that was not surprising enough, in the year 1962, another collapse took the life of yet another worker. However, not too much is known regarding this death. Other than that, the collapse also crushed a house. What may come as a shock is that the Richmond Vampire, an urban legend in the area, has a connection to the Churchill Tunnel. According to the legend, the collapses and accidents that the tunnel caused awakened an evil presence that lived under Church Hill, which caused the tunnel to collapse on the workers all those years ago. One of the reasons why this story is believed is because reportedly somebody found a creature covered in blood and jagged teeth crouching over one of the victims of the accident. The creature then fled the area, 
and into the James River. A group of men in the area then pursued the creature, but it was met with no luck as it managed to escape into a mausoleum. To this day, the story of the Churchill Tunnel creeps people out, and the possibility of a connection to the Richmond Vampire is sure to scare individuals away for decades to come. And that was 5 scary tunnels you should never enter. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video.